Hello friends, today I will tell you about the reading and writing of animes in the MATLAB. How you can read or write animes in the MATLAB. So let's see. So just to read animes, we have a very simple function that is imread. So if you want to read a file, suppose we have a file that is name is pout.tif. Then if you want to read this file in the variable i, then you can read this simply by imread then write the file name. Okay. So we can do this in the MATLAB. Suppose I want to read uh, animes in the variable i imread then the image name pout.tif. This file is available in your system also. So I'm using the MATLAB file. Okay. So you can easily practice the, in these commands on your system also. Right. So obviously it is available here. You can check the dimensions of this 291 into 240. Okay. Unsigned integer 8. So the file is read in the MATLAB. Now the next thing is to show the file in the MATLAB. Now if you want to show the file in the MATLAB, then we have the two options. One is the imso and other is the image sc. Okay. So today I'm discussing about the imso and about the image sc I will uh, tell you in the different video. So for that uh, you have to just uh, write the imso and uh, write the variable name in which you have uh, read the image. Okay. So I can write imso then i. So this is the image which I have read in the MATLAB. Okay. So I think uh, you can easily read the image and show the image. If you write the image sc here then you get some different uh, type name so I will discuss about the image SC later on huh? why it is getting in this way or what is the advantage of image SC so I will discuss uh, in other video about that okay so the simple function is uh, imso so by using imso you can show the image okay now the next is the writing image so for writing image we have simple function imwrite okay so suppose if you want to write the image imwrite then you have to take the original file that is the i comma the new file name suppose that is pout1 dot the file extension suppose uh, I am writing this in the jpg okay and then the file format jpg right so you can check here pout1 is created okay so uh, now I want to get the difference between these two files what is the difference between the pout and pout1 so for that uh, we have one function that is a uh, image file info right IMF image file info. Okay. Then write the file name. Suppose file name I am writing the pout, the first file pout.tif. Uh, right. So here you can check the all details about the file, where the file is stored in the C program files MATLAB. You may have the question like uh, uh, what are the different files available in the MATLAB? So you can use these files uh, for the testing purpose. So these are available on this path. So how you can access this complete path because it is not visible further that is dotted. So how you can access this complete path I will tell you and check other parameters also. So here you can uh, check the file size. Okay. It is a uh, 69,004 bytes and it's a file there. This is the width, height, all these things are so many uh, information is available about the file. Okay. And uh, if I check the image file info p out one dot jpg right so here you can check it is in the current directory what is the current directory it is available here and uh, the date file size so its size is 6548 only oh, that was 69000 so you can uh, check the file size okay because we have used the jpg extension that is file format so basically it is a compression technique right so what compression technique or coding method used that is the huffman so that is done okay and that was the grayscale image and width height is not changed okay so we have changed the image format also now i was telling that uh, how we can access the complete path so just check the file in of first image image info first image was pout dot tif okay so now this is available in the answer okay so now you can check here answer is a structure okay so how we can extract the data from an structure i have told in my video so i am again telling you so suppose uh, you want to extract this data okay so this is the part of the structure so if you want to access this particular field then how you can access so this is the file name so you can access this by writing answer that is the structure name dot file name right and click so you get the complete path okay 
what the complete path so this is the path where this image is available so I am just copying this path okay and uh, paste here so you can check here these all images are available in the MATLAB so you can use any image all uh, videos and uh, images are available in this particular folder okay so you can use any image so we have used p out so p out is available here okay another image also that like onion png you, you can read this image and practice okay there are so many images that you can use okay so I hope uh, you have uh, understood the reading writing and uh, displaying the image information so I hope you have enjoyed this lecture if you have any problem you can write to me thank you for watching